a heart attack. Fast fatal heart impact. Past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past. I back up my actions. Fact, don't ask. Grab reactions. Jacked attack with every word. Then act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new soul bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for defeat. Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirusho here, and now, before we do begin, let us give a brief little review. Now, Deku, right now a lot of things are up in the air for him. Deku has told Captain America to not try to find him, he wants to be left alone, and he means this quite literally. Captain America has always held out hope that Deku would be a hero. However, Deku has done some things Cap does not agree with. First of all, he murdered the Red Hulk, who turned out to be his father. He then broke into the Avengers Tower, hacked their security system like it was nothing, killed Emma Frost, stole an Iron Man suit, and returned it. He then dangled Cap over the edge and told him quite simply, He is going into hiding. If anyone tries to find him, if anybody tries to find him, they will not be alive. They will not come back. If S.H.I.E.L.D. tries to come after him, he will rip them apart piece by piece and pull their helicarrier out of the fucking sky. Now, Cap was surprised. Deku is getting a better handle on his abilities. And right now the only reason he's getting a better handle on it is because he's been pushed to the brink of rage. And, well, apparently all these personalities, they finally started agreeing on something. That one thing just happened to be homicide and murder. So that is bad. It's a good start, but it's bad. Now, with that, Deku decided to go into retirement. However, if he does need to, he will still work in the private sector if that is to be the best word for it, or phrasing. Now, with that happening with Deku, there actually was the Illuminati. The Illuminati, they met and talked about Deku. The fact that Deku, he was able to walk into the Avengers Tower, hack through it as if it was just a simple little puzzle, and steal an Iron Man suit, that shows how dangerous he really is. Tony has multiple fail-safes, in place to stop theft, but Deku, he practically didn't even see them, and that was concerning. Now, there also was another matter they had to discuss, however, that is for them to decide. Now, there also was currently Shuri, Shuri T'Challa's sister, she decided to leave Wakanda for right now. It may not be permanent, but for right now, she needs to get away from a lot of things. And, well, there is a few things on her mind. Now, with that being said, Deku, whenever he did arrive back home, he was trying to decide what to do. Anna Marie, or Rogue, her aunt, she has a home on a farm. And right now this place might not be very large. The fact that there's so many different people here now does show what type of problem there might be. Deku has met the woman. While well, she was surprised that this was the man of apparently these three children, she was also at least happy that Rogue, she found a guy who does seem to have a very good head on his shoulders. The man's smart, and from what she does see, Deku, he wants to be around these kids. I mean, at first she didn't really understand, but talking to the man and learning that he's a mutant, and understanding who he actually is... Things have been put into a bit more perspective. Especially when Verdeku does talk a bit more about his own past when the kids aren't around. She sat Deku down and wanted to know why he finally showed up. And Deku he does try to explain how he didn't know the kids were even, well, around. And whenever he did, he tried to sort out his own problems before coming around, so he wouldn't affect them. Now, the woman actually did start to warm up a bit to Deku. And while these kids aren't her grandchildren or related to her, 
she does still like having them in the house. Now, Deku, he actually decide a bit later after that, after trying to help out around the farm, and even start doing a few more things, to build a proper place. Now, Deku, he was getting that plan somewhat on track. And right now, Deku, he currently does have a few things happen. Deku decided to try and gather a few things. And there was whenever a ship showed up. Now, Deku was very annoyed. The moment he saw it flying over the farm, he realized it was Okandan. And right now, he thought that the Black Panther would walk out and talk to him. Maybe try to engage him in combat. However, Deku was quite alarmed. Especially because only one person walked out, and Deku could only sense one mind on that ship. Now, Deku, he saw Shuri. Her directly walking forwards, and going to sort of bring down her bag. Her dropping onto the ground and walking over. Expressing how she has a few things to figure out. Her walking directly over to Deku, and bringing him up into a hug. I... Okay, how did you find me? Deku is not going to pull away. And look down. I know I was very well hidden. Now, answer that question, please. I tracked you using Wakanda technology. Specialized data maps and other variables and factors. And even data and algorithms. And listen, that's not important right now. I destroyed all the evidence that I could track you. I destroyed a lot of things related to you. And, well, right now, Wakanda, they don't know I'm absent yet. Why? I mean, hang on, start back from now. A few people do come walking out. And right now, I'm sure it is going to directly turn her head and look over to see Jean who she is holding a small child. Now, Shuri, she is somewhat confused for a minute, before piecing it together and looking back towards Deku. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Listen. Your brother told you about everything, right? With the Watcher's Eye and all that, all that other stuff? I mean... They're handling with S.H.I.E.L.D. right now. They're all trying to help. And I don't want to. I understand. You do. Yes. Yes, um... I wanted to properly thank you for everything. Helping me save Wakanda from its threat. Um... Gentle the mutant that you faced. He, um, he's come back to Wakanda. He actually has been seen as a proper warrior since his return. Has he now? Yes, especially with what's going on. He has been deemed as an asset, and T'Challa, he wants him to work close with the throne. Really? Yes. Um... So, what are you doing here? Her looking to an area. And currently, she does look at the way it is somewhat set up. And Deku does express. He was going to start trying to build a place. Because, well, him bringing his hand up. And right now, she's just going to watch. As the ground, whenever Deku is going to close his fist, it does harden and form. Before Deku does going to start to knock his hand down a bit, and the ground is going to move down in that exact spot. Impressive. Yeah. Ever since, um... Ever since we've all been in sync, I guess, my powers have been letting me... My personalities have been letting me access their powers. I mean, I can manipulate the elements, I have telekinesis, and if I do get hurt, I have Hulk. So, a built-in healing factor, immortality, and immense strength, and gamma absorption. All of these other abilities I'm still trying to figure out. 
That is insane. Yeah. Then again, being able to fly instead of chuck myself through the air, that would probably be a lot better. Then again, if I grow wings, I know that that might be a problem. Now, Shuri does go to start looking at Deku, trying to imagine a Hulk with wings. And right now, it doesn't look too good. The image she does somewhat have, they're normal sized wings. And they struggle to try and pick up the Hulk. Well, it is a little funny. She doesn't really voice it out loud. Now, Deku, he does currently stand there. And right now, he is going to bring his hand back and manipulate the area back where it was. Before we're going to turn back to Shuri. Okay, why are you really out here? That is an issue. I have run into a problem, and I wish for your help. I'm in need of counsel, and I need a friend's advice. I, I don't know. My head is all just in a daze, I guess. Everything is up in the air, and I need someone's help. I know I can rely on you. That's why I'm here. Now, Deku, he does understand. And right now, after Shuri does come walking into the house, she does see something quite surprising. Two other children. Now, Shuri is sat down, and right now she is at least going to reveal what she brought here. And right now, it's impressive. Shuri has brought copies of data from Wakanda. And many other things in tools and tech that would be needed. Now, Deku, he's quite surprised. And right now, everybody, they do try and at least get things put together. Now, some time would pass by, and a few things happen from here. Now, Deku, he does try to build an actual large home. One that would be proper for a very large family. And a few things would happen in this month of time. Deku, he needs the resources, so he does at least get the Hulk to cut wood. And many other personalities, they do help out. Now, Deku will also start to learn more about his powers in this time. And even in this time, some people have tried to come around looking for Deku. However, Deku, yeah. He either turns them away with his mind and makes them basically report nothing back, or... They don't leave the area. Some people have literally come in before, guns blazing ready to fire. And Deku, let's just put it this way. He made sure these people, they would not remember what happened. And the only person who came back alive, they reported mission failure. And encountering something about a few miles away, if not dozens of miles away, from their original intended destination. Now, Deku, he basically throws attention every which way in different areas. Now, there actually was one day where Deku, he encountered a strange Hulkbuster, and he took it down with the person inside. Now, the person, yeah. After Deku took them down, he made sure that he could store this thing in a place that would not be easily found. And after Deku did so, the person, they were missing in action. Now, because of exactly how high their authority was, questions were asked. And right now, about a year and a half later, Deku, he does walk into this house that he has spent so much time building. Now, Deku, he does get to walk through the front door. And right now... He does just want to sit down on the couch and lean back, bringing his hand up to his head and just trying to think about what exactly they need to do. It's almost summer, and things are going to be getting a bit more complicated. Hmm. It's sort of weird, though. Hmm. Maybe not, though. But if the summer does roll around... 
the kids will want ice cream. Hmm. Maybe they should go out for ice cream. <laughs> Maybe they should take a family trip. He remembers... Yeah, he does still have money from Joe. Joe chipping in. Expressing. Even if they don't have money left in that account, he still has at least two or three other ones. And hey, he can pay his old friends a visit. He reorganized everything back in Vegas. And they owe him a few favors. All he has to do is call a few numbers, and they can spend a month out there. Hell, they could probably spend months out there gambling and having fun. The time of their freaking lives. Now, Deku does hear Joe. And he does at least express to him how maybe they should put off this Vegas trip. Because right now, relaxing at home might be the best option. Deku actually feeling somebody sit down next to him as his good turkey turn his head. Hey, Marie. What's up? Hmm? Not much. Her going to lay against him. And Deku, he is going to bring his hand up to wrap it around her. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Then again, the kids have been all been sort of rowdy. And I really don't want to deal with it. I'm just tired. <laughs> I bet. I mean, you really shouldn't be running around like that. I know, I know. But still, what am I supposed to do? You're doing all this work, and we can't, you can't operate in the public anymore. Yeah, but I still operate privately. I mean, yeah, I threw off the scent of those guys out somewhere else, I guess. I don't even remember where I threw them this time. Really? Yeah. But how has Inko been doing? And John? I know John, he had that accent the other day. But what about Victor? I mean, I know Laura is a bit tough, but he's a little sensitive. You know? <laughs> of course I know. Hell, are these kids... I felt race them, Izuku. I know, I know, and I'm just, I'm just worried is all. I get that. But hey, you'll be around for this one. Rogue, bring your hand up to her stomach. And Degu, he does want to smile. He has missed a lot. But maybe, yeah, maybe life can be on track. And that's what Deku, he does find interesting. Now, Deku, he does just don't stand up. And right now he does go to walk into the kitchen and pour himself something to drink. As right now Deku, he does pour a glass of lemonade and go to Druki, take a sip of it. Trying to think about what to do. Okay, let's see. They've got everything fixed right now on the farm. And... He's made solar panels, and the house is powered on most of that. The energy's fine. They're self-sufficient, and right now... Hmm. Right now the pipes are good. But what's another thing he hasn't seen an issue with? Hmm. No, no, everything seems fine. Now, Deku, he currently is going to sit down at the table. He has a bad feeling, though. No, that's that can't be right. He doesn't have precognition. Does he? Him going to ask his consciousness or his other personalities. Do any of them have precognition? To which he does get a unified no. And Deku, he does get something lean back. No, okay. It's not a it's just his nerves acting up. I mean hell. Rogue is five months along. Okay, okay. He's fine. He's fine. Now, Deku, he does not going to stand back up. And right now, he does hear one of the kids running around in the living room. As Deku does go to turn his head and bring his hands up. 
as right now two kids do go floating upwards into the air, and the two, they actually are trying to run and get away. And Deku is going to walk back inside, Doki bringing his hands up to grab both of them, asking them what exactly do they think they're doing. Now, the two do somewhat bicker back and forth. As Inko does talk about how John, he was making fun of her. And Deku does look towards John. As John just doesn't just gonna stick out his tongue and, well, you know, do a raspberry, I believe it's called. Now, Deku does tell John not to make fun of his little sister. Because of exactly how things will be when they're when both of them are older. Now, Johnny does talk about it. He talks about how he wants to be big and strong like his dad. And Deku, he does try to tell him. Maybe one day, but right now, he still does have a lot to do. I mean, things are still up in the air. Now, Johnny does ask his dad, can they play that one game? You know, the game of flying. And Deku does try to correct John. It's called the game Airplane. Now, John does not going to beg for his dad to play the game. And Deku does go to look over towards Inko before telling John to apologize first. The boy doing so as Deku, he does not directly bring up both of his hands. And the two, the dudes don't go to spread out their arms as Deku, he does fly them around the room. And Rogue, she doesn't just don't go to look up watching the two do that. And right now the two, they are laughing and giggling a bit. Now, Deku, he does see somebody walk into the room. Them nearly, well, hitting somebody with a door. And right now Deku, he actually is going to someone bring his hand up and turn it. As they did someone go to move their body out of the way, and Shuri just go walking in. Whoa, okay, um, sorry. It's fine. I saw you coming. Don't worry about it. You did? Yeah, I saw the door out of the corner of my eye. It's, um... I've sort of had a lot of practice doing this. Uh, what's up? Dick is still moving his hands up. I've been curious about a few things. Looking around. And so far, everything seems to be fine. Yeah. I know. Is that a problem, though? No, no, um, it's just, I'm concerned about something. Concerned about what? I don't know. Possibly my brother looking for me? <laughs> You're fine, Shuri. Besides, I mean, it's not that bad. I know. But the aircraft, it's still hidden out there. And while it may be cloaked, we still gotta be careful as to where we put it. You mean where you put it? I mean, I almost hit it with a car the other day. I know, I know, but putting markers around it sort of defeats the, defeats the purpose of a stealth aircraft. Okay. How about this? Shuri. I... We find a place to put it. I mean, out in the woods. Somewhere to hide it. Somewhere safe, I guess. That could work. Now, Deku does go somewhat look towards Rogue, asking her if she can handle these two. To which is, she does somewhat just going to say, yeah, she can. Now, Deku, he actually was going to put the two down. And right now the two, they do ask if their dad can play with them more. To which Deku, he does respond that... They can, maybe later or tomorrow. Right now, they have to try and figure out what to do about the crazy large bird outside. Now, the two, they do go running outside. And Deku, he actually is just going to bring his hand up and pull the two back up into the air, telling them to go to bed. Now, the two are laughing as they do go to someone run up the, stair run up the staircase. And Deku and Shuri do go to walk outside. Those two are tiring me. I thought fighting Black Bull was exhausting. <laughs> You're good with them. You think so? Yes. Um, 
it's quite surprising is all. Hmm? Yeah, I know. I, I've been working on myself, I guess. It's just, I don't want to repeat mistakes that my, my dad did. You say that. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know I, I keep being vague and evasive about it, but I just don't like repeating myself about it. And you don't want to relive your trauma. Exactly. I'm just, I'm good where I'm at. I mean, I, in a way, me and Hulk both got what we wanted here, Shuri. Now, look at this, someone going to stop and turn, bring his hand out and grabbing on hers, telling her, right now, this place, it's everything they all wanted. Hulk has isolation. Deku has people he does love. People don't come here to try and start a fight. At least, not that often. But when they do, they are turned away or taken down. And then, there also is the fact that Deku, here, he has family now. He has three children. And another one on the way. I understand that. Shuri. I know this whole thing is weird. I mean, especially with us. I know. But still. I'm just... I'm... Surprised is all. You... Your mind. It's brilliant. Uh, thank you, but... It's... It's the only good trait you have of your father, Izuku. I know. You always say that. The only good thing he ever gave you. But listen. He's gone. You've said it yourself. Do not live in the past, Izuku. Besides, your father, maybe he has turned into a better man. Death is not the end in my culture. It is the start of something new possibly something greater. Do you understand that? I know. Thank you. I really did need to hear that right now. It's just, my nerves are acting up. I mean, your anxiety, Izuku. Right, right. I'm just, I'm worried. I finally have something to lose. And... It's more than just my life. I've always cared about the people closest to me, but staying as far away as I could from them was the safest option. Now I'm conflicted about much. <laughs> I see. Well, how about we settle that later? Right, sorry, the aircraft. Now, Deku would talk to the Hulk, and right out of the aircraft, it is moved somewhere safe, as Deku, he currently does sit out on the porch, and everybody, they're going to bed, and Deku, he does just sit there. They've been isolated. They do get the internet out here, and they do get the news, and Deku, he's been concerned about something. He's looked at everything. Deku will bring his hand up and looking directly down. Deku grabbing onto the necklace that was made from the shard of claws, well, armor. He wants to talk to Jen. Is that it? I mean, she's the only family he has outside of this small place. But Jen, is she still involved with S.H.I.E.L.D.? He told her everything. I mean, he told the Avengers not to fo follow him, not to try and find him. And people, they haven't shown up for a while. Longer than usual. And they tore apart that 
golden Hulkbuster or whatever it was. That strange alloy. Hmm. Now, Deku, he does sit there. And right now, he does somewhat hear a sound. Him bring his hand up. As the moment he does, he does look at something that was flying directly towards him. Now, Deku, he does so just go to bring his hand up and pull it closer. As right now, Deku, he does hold up an arrow. And he does start looking at it. Him annoyed. Somebody found him. They found them. Now, Deku does start looking up. And right now, Deku's eyes, they do glow red. As Deku, he's looking into the forest nearby for a mind. And he does find it. Before the person, they do Doki walk out and directly out to Deku. And Deku, he does come face to face with Hawkeye. Let me go. What are you doing here? I was told. Told what? Was it Tony? Or was it S.H.I.E.L.D.? Many people have tried to find me. Then again, S.H.I.E.L.D., they stopped sending their agents after the last massacre. Now, I'll appreciate that you used a bow instead of a rifle. My kids are asleep. You're... what? Ah. <sighs> okay. Let's make things simple. Right now, I am going to erase your memory. And then I'm going to cut off one of your fingers on each one of your hands. You're an archer. Your middle finger is required for you to draw back your bowstring. I'll cut off both of those fingers on each one of your hands. Afterwards, I'll send you away. If you do come back, Clint, I'll take your eyes and your tongue. And something a little bit more important than that. Your life. Now, what do you have to say for that? Now, Clint does directly look at Deku. And right now Deku, he doesn't hear a single word. Before he does, he's going to bring his hand up and read the man's mind. And right now Deku, he's shocked at what he does learn. Right now after reading his mind, there's been a lot happening. Especially without him. I mean, for mutants, things have been tricky. They've been odd. And right now, he is curious as to what he just saw. Apparently, Jen did leave S.H.I.E.L.D. But right now, things are strange for her. And then there's actually things with, what was the man's name? Mr. M? He hasn't heard of this guy before. No, wait a minute. Gene mentioned a guy like him. His powers. Oh my god. Now, Deku, he does think. Maybe he should try to see if Legion can help them. Maybe Mr. M. Him and Legion, they can talk. Do something? Hmm. Now, Hawkeye, he does so want to stand there. As Deku does look directly at him, and ask him exactly what does he want to do. Does he want to simply have his memory erased and lose the fingers, or does he want to die? Now, Hawkeye does stare back at Deku, and Deku, he does hear the man say a few things in particular that Deku, he does not like. Now, Deku, he does tell the man to forget. Now, Clint, he does wake up in a very strange place. Right now, his head's fuzzy, and his body, it hurts. Um, fuck, his hands. Jesus, his arms. He's alive, but him turning, and seeing that a wild animal attacked him. His hands are covered in teeth marks, and Jesus. Now, Clinty doesn't understand. He was trying to find something, somebody, right, but this doesn't make sense. 
He's in the forest. Why, though? He came to an area and it was just more forest. He got lost. That's it. That's all he's got. Now, Hawkeye, he doesn't directly stand. And right now he doesn't decide to go back to S.H.I.E.L.D. Because right now, a lot of things are worse. Now, Deku, he does debate this in his head. He knows that Jen is no longer working with S.H.I.E.L.D. Right now, S.H.I.E.L.D., they just sent somebody directly after him. If he wasn't paying attention, that arrow would have hit him directly in his head. So, exactly what should he do here? Shield? Yeah. Now, we do actually have aboard the Shield helicarrier. Where Shield, they are trying to find Izuku Midoriya. However, because of how evasive he's been and how elusive he's been, he's been spotted everywhere. He's been spotted anywhere from New York City to over in Oregon. And that's what does confuse them. They have agents trying to look around, see a few things. And they all wake up in different spots, strange places. They don't know where exactly they went. And then there's still that idea. General Thunderbolt Ross, he is still missing in action. And, well, that's another issue. Now, the current director of S.H.I.E.L.D., they are worried. Especially because of everything that they've seen. And right now the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier, they actually do feel a sudden jolt. As right now, there actually is the fact that one of their engines, it just blew up. Now, S.H.I.E.L.D., they believe that they are under attack. And right now they're actually with a second engine, it is blown up. Now, we do actually have on the top of a building. Where Deku, he does have his hand up. And right now, he actually is going to sort of close his hand into a fist. And pull down as if he is pulling onto a trucker horn. Now, Deku, he directly rips out the turb turbine of the engine. And right now, the third shield engine, or the third turbine, does stop spinning and explode. Now, Deku, he does go to Ricky Turner walk away. As right now, S.H.I.E.L.D., they're confused. Three of their turbines are destroyed. And the only one keeping them in the air right now it is overloading. Well, right now, things aren't very good. And S.H.I.E.L.D., they're very confused. Now, Deku, he does want to turn back. And watches the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier. And actually is starting to sort of move down towards the city. Deku is only just going to bring his hand up and start pushing it. As right now it is trying to focus. Now, the helicarrier does directly smash down into the ocean water. And a lot of people, they're still confused. Right now a lot is currently happening. And the helicarrier, it does start to sink. People are evacuated and a lot of things are happening. And right now, while this event could be considered, well, you know, an accident, there is a simple fact that their turbines, they are built to last. They are durable as hell. And the last time they checked, their turbines don't suddenly just get ripped out from underneath them, as if Magneto was the one pulling the strings. They know he is depowered. And they know he still does reside on the island known as Genosha. Now, Deku, he does leave. And right now, S.H.I.E.L.D., they actually call off their manhunt. Especially because this was the first time they actually sent one of their guys directly after him. And Steve Rogers, his words, they rang true. Deku, he ripped a helicarrier right out of the sky. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.